Coming up in 60s, fight news number 45. We've got stories on UFC season number 13 with Brock Lesnar as a coach. We've also got stories on Randy Couture climbing back into the ring. Uh, UFC is not going to be doing any events anytime soon in New York City. We've also got Strike Force stories, and we've also got uh, something or other, I don't know what names I can't pronounce. So I'm not doing it. All that in 60 seconds. <laughs> It's the end of the Fantastic Four as we know them! Fantastic Four 583 is shipping this month, and supposedly it's going to be the death of one of the members of Fantastic Four. Because of that, Fantastic Four is our Hero of the Month here at Alternate Reality, which means all of my trade paperbacks and back issues are 25% off all month long. All my soft covers, all my hard covers, all my essentials, all my masterworks, everything. 25% off all month long. So come on down to the store and celebrate the death of a member of the Fantastic Four <laughs> by saving 25% off what here thing? at Alternate Reality. You know, Bo learned to fart in the end of the alley. That's probably why I can beat him up. Me so horny. Me so horny. Me love you long time. Fight News, episode 45, The Longest Gripe. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video out house. It's time for Fight News. Why is he Fight so violent? News. Fight News and Fight News is coming to you from Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone. And you know what? Our first story up is... Hello. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. Oh, well, it's, it's a good, I say that all the time. My God. Oh, my your worst nightmare. nightmare is coming in eight minutes when you get done with this. Yes. <laughs> so, Sarah, what we got going on today? Ultimate Fighter Season 13 coaches. Oh, yes. They named the coaches this week. Oh, well, hallelujah. One of them is Junior Dos Santos, oh, and the other no. one is the shock of shock, Brock Lesnar. The man who doesn't like going to Vegas, who doesn't like hanging out with people, who doesn't like talking. He will be host. He will be uh, one of the coaches for Ultimate Fighter Season 13. The two will fight, will basically be coaching middleweights, although they're both heavyweights, which really makes no sense. And then they will fight at UFC 31. Now, the winner will fight Cain Velasquez for the title because Velasquez will not be stripped of his title while he is recovering from having shoulder surgery. So that would be the number one contender. So no, no title bouts until he's ready to go? No title bouts until he's ready to go. And he starts shooting it in a week. And it's going to be interesting just to see what Lesnar does hanging out in Vegas, being cranky. So I'm just looking forward to this season because he really hates going to Vegas. Can't stand it. Wow. I got no use for it either. Oh, you should go to Vegas. It's fun. Bo loves it. Maybe he and I hang out together. See, you can sh show him the good side of it. Show him the good side of it. The Wax Museum. Yes. So, Sarah, what else we got? Who's fighting at UFC 129? Randy Couture is not retired. He's fighting Lyoto Machida at UFC 129, which means he's going to fight <laughs> after shooting Expendables 2. So, we're assuming he's going to be training while he's doing the movie, which should be kind of interesting. But UFC 129. Couture is not retired yet. One more fight at him. At least one more fight. And he actually said he wanted to fight Machida, so this works out. 23 million in New York still doesn't want to legalize MMA? Yeah, it's kind of screwed up. Uh, UFC went to, no, went, to, went, to, uh, they went to New York City. They basically wanted to be legalized in the state because MMA is not legal in the state of New York. They did a survey which Why? basically said that if they did MMA shows in New York City, the state would get about $23 million in revenue, but this, but... The people who were on the city councils, the people who were on the advisory board, simply said they are not willing to uh, approve MMA events for the city at all. So they're turning down $23 million. But why isn't it legal? Uh, well, you could ask a certain guy in Arizona named John McCain who basically said it's about guys fighting in cages and ripping people's eyes out, which never really happened. But it was a big campaign issue for him. That's why that pinhead's still in the Senate. Wait a minute, was it a campaign issue? Yep. Illinois had the same problem, right? But we didn't hear anything about that. Illinois had the same well, problem. He wanted when, to legalize it. A long time it, ago, they yeah. Bogovich wanted it. A long time ago, before MMA was basically worldwide and Ultimate Fighter went on the air and everyone wanted it, McCain was one of the guys who was strongly against the idea Boo because he saw it was about people ripping people's eyes out. Deal with that. Which I've never seen in a fight. I've never seen a guy get eyes get ripped out in a fight. A regular fight, yes. An MMA fight, no. All right, mental picture. Fedor Emelianenko. I can't pronounce that stupid name. Fedo Emilianko. <laughs> he signed a new deal with Strike Force. He did it because Showtime Executive Vice President Ken Hirschman said, Look, Pinhead, you're going to make a lot of money, and if you sign with Strike Force, we can put you on Showtime, and you can make a lot of money. So Fedor signed, and the deal will cover four total fights, which leads into our last story, which involves 
Strike Force is doing a heavyweight Grand Prix tournament. Nice. But the current heavyweight champion, Elster Overeem, his title will not be online for the tournament. This basically this is sort of like making the king of fighter things. Now, there'll be a quarter fight, there'll be quarter bouts, and there'll be semifinal bouts. They'll consist of three five minute quarter. rounds. The final will be five five minute rounds. So far signed up for this tournament are Overeem, who will only fight in the finale. Andre Arlowski, who no longer wants to kill himself. Josh Barnett, who still can't fight in California because he hasn't been cleared. And that Fedor guy, he'll be fighting in the tournament. So. That name sucks. Fedor. Hey, Sarah, he doesn't want to kill himself anymore. Why don't you go spend some time with him? I'll kill him myself. <laughs> I'll put him right back on time. Andre's a nice <laughs> guy. He trains him. in Illinois. He just, went half through, an hour on he just went through some hard times. But he's, he's he's recovered, and he says this is this is number one on his his redemption road setup. Have that conversation anywhere like above the sixth floor. Now, boys and girls, know. that's all we have. That's it. That's all the news we have for this segment. What? We assume at some point Uncle Pete will return. I have no idea when. And at this Nothing point, I'm going, I. what the heck? You know, but so. until then, we'll you're have stuck to flip with me. a coin. You're stuck with Sarah and and the guy Sorry. who does the intros. So, if you want to find longer stories about everything I just talked about. There's a place you can go to to find all these things out. Now, Sarah, where is that place? Uh, I think it's www.myalternatereality.com. That's the place. So, for Sarah and for Bo, this is our saying, Holla! Hi! Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.